Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my December empties. I have my basket behind me and I'm actually not even gonna lift it up because it is overflowing. I even have a few things on the counter over here next to me because I finished off so much stuff in the month of December. So you guys are in for a treat. Might be a longer um, empties video, but I will go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna start off with candles because I actually finished a lot more than I expected to. I was honestly not expecting to finish maybe more than like two candles this month. So I did really good. So the first one that I did finish off is Homeworks Candy Cane Martini. This one was a four wick that I got at um, my local Marshall's Home Goods combo store for $16.99. So really good deal on this one. It smelled amazing. I actually did a review on that one. So I'll link it up above, but really enjoyed it. This beautiful like candy cane crushed sugar scent, really nice. Um, I mean, I might would get it again if I found it at Home Goods, maybe, um, but nothing crazy special. But it was really nice. I enjoyed it. And then one that I actually burned with it downstairs in my open concept, just to make everything a little stronger and you know be able to fill up the rooms. I finished Bath and Body Works Crushed Candy Cane. This cute little snowman packaging is adorable, and it burned really well. Barely any soot, honestly was an amazing candy cane scent. It actually finished itself off. You can see those two wicks on the side. Um, they just stopped working. So yeah, that one is crushed peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. Really nice. I definitely think this is gonna be a new like go-to yearly Christmas scent for me because I enjoyed it a lot in the month of December, really just to get me in the mood, especially because it was even like, it was actually cold here in Houston. I live in Texas. It never gets cold here. So it was actually cold and it's like pe peppermint crushed candy cane scent combo was like so yummy for December. So that one is crushed candy cane. I finished off a red velvet cupcake. This one wasn't even in my project um, wax to finish up candles, but I did actually put this one in the candle crock um, in my bedroom. So it smelled like nice cake, cakey cookies all month long. So that was really nice. Um, this one is Lush Red Velvet Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Sweet Vanilla. So yeah, this one, um, you can't even see the wicks anymore, but this one, one of the wicks like nubbed out and I just honestly did not feel like babysitting this one, like pouring the wax out or like, I didn't really feel like doing any kinds of fixes to it. So I just put it in my candle crock and I melted the wax. Basically what candle crocks do is they just like melt off all the fragrance from the wax and then you're just left with, that's why there's so much wax in here, you're just left with the wax. So I don't really have any use for the wax, so I just usually toss it like this, but it doesn't have any more scent on it and it was a really nice cakey scent for my bedroom, so I'm happy to have that finished. Ryan finished off a mahogany teakwood intense in his office. He was home quite a lot this month. He had a lot of um, free days off of work and things like that. So he was in his office a lot this month. So he finished that one off. And the last candle that I finished is the Homeworks Deep Dish Apple Pie. This one I finished really close to the beginning of December. Um, it was a really great like Thanksgiving end of November scent. So I was glad to have finished it off in December, but it was amazing. Um, it did soot a tiny bit, but this one was such a good thrower for a three wick from Homeworks. I was really impressed with it. It was really awesome. I believe I got this for like $15, I think. So I think it's a really good deal. This is gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. Smells literally like apple pie. It's so good. So I definitely would consider getting this again. If I found it at some sort of Home Goods Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I would definitely buy it. Um, this one was awesome. It was really, really good. And like just the perfect scent for right around Thanksgiving, you're thinking about pie already. So that one is deep dish apple pie and that's all the candles that I finished. So I did finish off five candles, which is on track. That's usually about how many candles that I finish off every month around four or five. So I did really good in December. So moving on to body care, I'll start with hand soap. So I finished off a perfect pumpkin. This one was of course left over from October. Um, it was in our half bath um, that guests use when they come over. So we really don't use that bathroom a lot. So this took a while for us to go through and I really enjoyed it though. It was really nice. It was cute. I love this packaging this year. It was really adorable. Um, so yeah, that's perfect pumpkin. It's basically just um, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. That's really exactly what it is. I finished off a twisted peppermint at my sink in the bathroom upstairs. 
and I, I love this scent. It was so amazing. I think I got this for like $2 or $1 at Summer SAS. So this is actually from last year, not from this year. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Just a classic peppermint scent for December, so that was really nice. Ryan finished off Blueberry Donut at his sink. Um, this one to me did not smell that great, but he had no complaints. This is fresh blueberries, warm glazed donut, and a hint of cinnamon. Ryan um, loves blueberry scents, so I thought this would be nice for him. But to me, it kind of smells like blueberry cough syrup. Ugh, so I did not like this one, but he loved it, so I didn't have to use it, so I was fine. And then the last thing I got is Autumn Rainfall. So this one I also got at Summer SAS um, for like $2 or something. This is aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. It was a really nice scent. I put this in Ryan's office bathroom just to kind of, it's like a little more manly for him, um, but also it's nice and fresh. It's really nice. I'm, I think I'm going to get more of these like um, fresh air kind of scents for Ryan to use because I actually really enjoy them too. So. That is the four hand soaps that we finished up. I did end up finishing off three Scentsy Wax Bars, so I finished off Christmas Cactus. This one was so much fun. Um, I got this during their clearance event, and I really was not expecting it to smell like Christmas with a name like Christmas Cactus, but it was so good. And it had like this really pretty vibrant, pretty much this shade of green wax. But oh my gosh, it smells so good, like kind of like holly berries, I guess. Um, but Ryan specifically really enjoyed this one, so I, I love that one. That was really nice. Finished off Wassail Wonderland. This one was so much fun. I never knew that an orange scent could be Christmassy. Um, not that I never knew it, but I never really tried those kinds of scents, but this was like that orange spice pomander. Oh my God, just smelling it. it smells so good. So I, I really enjoyed this one. It was like nice and a, it was a nice surprise for um, December and I used it in the kitchen and it was like absolutely perfect. So really, really loved this one. That was so much fun. I had a lot of fun with wax this month and then finished off a Snow Kiss Cranberry, just a super simple um, red berry scent. And it was nice. Um, nothing special, nothing compared to those other two, but I did like it. Okay, I'm just gonna pick out like random body care from the bin because I have too much, okay? So we're starting off with the Tree Hut Pumpkin Spice Latte Scrub, you guys. I cleaned this thing out, like this was so good. Oh my God, it smelled just like pumpkin spice. This was like the absolute perfect thing to end fall on. I finished it up, I think like the first week of December. So this was like, it was so good, you guys. If you didn't get this one, I really hope they bring it out again next fall because I will pick it up again. It was so good. I did end up finishing off a pink velvet cupcake. This one I think was in my fall project use it up and I didn't include it in my winter one because it was basically already done. But this was such a good scent. I love pink velvet cupcake, you guys. I'm sad it hasn't come back in 2022. Hopefully they'll bring it back in 2023 because I miss it. It's so good. It is sparkling red berries with pink marshmallow and sugared praline. I thought that ice sugar plum would be kind of similar, but it really isn't. It doesn't have the same like strawberry, raspberry berry scent, but that's a uh, pink velvet cupcake. I hope they bring it back. I did end up finishing off my Winterberry Wonder body butter. I am so proud of myself for finishing, finishing this off, you guys. It was absolutely amazing and perfect for this cold weather that we had. It was amazing. I cleaned that tub out, baby. I loved it. And this one, I think, yeah, this was from 2020. So I'm glad I finished it off. It was going on two years old. You know, it definitely needed to be finished. So that one is done. I did finish off my Almond Blossom Shower Gel. This was also left over from my fall project, Use It Up. And I finally got through it. So we were about right here in the check-in at December 1st, I think, or no, the end of November. So I finished that off pretty quickly, actually. And I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely trying to keep my eye out for more Almond Blossom at SAS because I still have the mist to finish and I think I'll end up finishing it off in 2023, but I need, you know, like a lotion and a shower gel to complete the set. But it was, I love Almond Blossom, you guys. It is sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. Just a super simple, amazing sophisticated almond scent so really love that one i did also finish off my aromatherapy peppermint essential oil lotion finally finished her off after like what two years of being in the project um yeah this one's from 2020 so two years of being in projects finally finished her off i've been using this as like a 
um, hand lotion for work and it is really stress relieving. Like I, I enjoy it, I enjoy it a lot and I finally finished it off, I'm super proud of myself. That is the Peppermint Essential Oil Lotion. And I think the last um, body care item I finished off is the Dionys Goat Milk Shave Butter. I really enjoyed this stuff. Um, I actually got it sent to me to do some user-generated content for them on TikTok, um, but I really did like this one. It's supposed to be fragrance-free, and the goat's milk that's within the formula is like really moisturizing, so I did actually think it was really nice you did need to use like a lot on your legs to to like actually have it work as a shaving cream, but I did enjoy it. So that is that one. And that's last of the body care. I do have a few wallflowers that I finished. I did finish off a Vanilla Be Noel wallflower. I finished off Twas the Night Before Christmas. It was like a really yummy cookie scent. This was really fun. And then this one does not have a label on it. So let's see if I can guess. Ooh, definitely something pepperminty. Oh, I don't remember what this one was. Totally something minty, and I can't think of what it is, but that is another one that I finished. Okay, we've got some hair care. So you guys know I'm obsessed with the Joico Moisture Recovery line. So I did finish off a jumbo size shampoo and a regular sized conditioner. Ryan and I both use this and absolutely adore it. I also finished off a Garnier Fructis flexible hold hairspray. Actually, I think Ryan finished this one off because I use a different type, but yeah, he used the, the flexible hold one. This is like a really low hold hairspray. And then a few like random things that I finished. I finished off some multivitamins <laughs> just from Target Up and Up brand and the Smile Direct Club little like whitening pen. So I have like a little teeth whitener um that you plug into your phone that like lights up and whitens your teeth and this is like the formula that you put on before that so i finished off those two i need to like stick to that teeth whitening though because i have not been consistent with it so i need to do that because i feel like my teeth would look so much prettier if they were white i don't know okay guys moving on to skincare i finished off a ton this month so the first is the mary Kay extra emollient night cream. This is actually a little sample size, but this was really great because my hands started to crack and bleed. It was so cold here and my skin is not used to that. So I was using that almost every single night and I finished it up. I also finished off the Mary Kay C Plus Resveratrol Line Reducer. This is like a little serum that I put on every single morning. It is a vitamin C serum, so I love this one and I already have a backup. I finished off the Liliana Naturals Eye Cream. I did really enjoy this. I have not repurchased it yet though. I'm gonna try out a few different things, but I did like it. And I finished off a Hero Clear Collective Clarifying Prebiotic Moisturizer. This, I think it's a mini. This was like $13 though, and I did not like it at all. So yeah, did not like that one. I did finish off a Clinical Strength Epiduo Forte Retinol that I got from my dermatologist. So I finished that one off. Finished off the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is my absolute favorite skincare item. Um, I have not repurchased it yet because I, I just can't make the $35 commitment. But I do have like a mini toner that I'm using right now and then I will repurchase this one. I do love it though. And the last item that I finished off in the month of December is the Cosrx Advanced Snail Mucin Essence. Absolutely adore this stuff. It has worked wonders on my pores. I've noticed like much less congestion and my pores are tighter and smaller and I just love it. So that is my last item that I finished off in the month of 2022. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That um, was a really great month for me in terms of like how much stuff I used up. And the next kind of empties video should be out like next week. And it's gonna be all of my empties from the entire year of 2022. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you're notified when that comes up because that's gonna be really, really fun. But that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.